Did you ever wonder about how the number five permeates the entire mathematical construction of the Pentagon? And the reason why the Pentagon is important is, is because what you're looking at is the, math, is the geometric construction of every protein in your body. In fact, I believe that every cell in our body is based on sacred geometry. And the best symbol of human consciousness is the Pentagon because it's all made up of what's called the divine proportion. So mathematicians love to put all this knowledge into formula. So to begin the journey, we start off with the circle. So we often start off with the unit circle. So if you can see here that the radius is 0.5, well, that means the diameter from here to there is one. So in sacred geometry, we always start off with the unit circle whose diameter is one. But as you can see, there's a little enigma there's a little bit left over here. When we, ins when we circumscribe the pentagon, which means going around the circle, if we draw the pentagon around the circle, or this is the inscribed circle inside the pentagon, we've got this little bit here, and that's where, what the mathematical uh, fascination is all about. What is that value? And that's why we need to know Pythagoras' theorem. So what, what's important here is that we have the radius of the circle from the center to here is 0.5. And this distance here, just to give you the conclusion, the distance from the centre to the tip is called 0.618. It's called the golden ratio, the reciprocal of phi. And I've written it over here. We, we give it a name, 0.618. That, so 0.618 means it's a fraction more. There's a half. So this bit is 0.118. So I've written it over here that the reciprocal of phi, 1 divided by 1.618, has a certain expression in terms of number five. So it's 0.5, which is a half, times five to the 0.5, that means five to the power of a half, minus 0.5 or a half equals 0.618. I'm just showing off here that we can write everything about the golden ratio in terms of the number five, which is why I've called this PHI phi, playing with the word five, because we have five fingers, five toes, five is, the key to creation. So, so this was the reciprocal, but let's go to the full value of phi. It's a, the symbol for phi is a circle with a line going through it. It equals 0.5, which is a half. Now, what's this thing here? It's got a half times five to the power of five. Let me explain what that means. So five, because we don't know what that really means. Five to the power of five means it's the same as what's five to the half. So you know from school that if we had 5 to the power of 2, 5 squared is 25. But when we go 5 to the half, it means it's, a, it's called the square root of 5. So a fancy way to write the square root of 5 is, is to write it as 5 to the point 0.5 times 5 to the half. We're just playing with the number 5. So the importance of the square root of 5 means what number multiplied by itself gives us five. So it's going to be something like 2.236. So some number multiplied by itself will give us five. And that's called the square root of five. This is actually the key to a, a lot of things in sacred geometry. So we start off with a unit square, just like we started off with the circle with one diameter. Now we start off with the unit square. And we know that that distance here if that's one and that's one, we call that square root of two, which is 1.414. But we want the double unit square. So if this is one, now we've got a rectangle that's got, that is one by two. And it just happens that this diagonal can be calculated by something called Pythagoras' theorem, which is, to me, Pythagoras' theorem, which is three squared plus four squared equals five squared, is equally as important as the golden ratio. So... So we would say that 1 squared plus 2 squared is 1 plus 4 is 5. So this distance here, x, that we don't know, can be calculated to be the root 5. And we need to know that it's 2.236. And it, those three dots means the number goes forever and ever. So just try and remember that 2.236 times itself gives us the number 5. So now we're getting a bit closer to understanding what this means. So as the expression for phi is 0.5 times 5 to the 0.5, which is this root 5, 
plus 0.5. So that's another way for getting the value of 1.618. Whereas over here, when we took the reciprocal fee, 0.618, which is this distance, we, 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 we do the same thing, but we subtract 0.5. So here we say something times something plus 0.5 or a half, and here we're subtracting. So they're very similar formulas. And the reason why I like this very much is because um, this is kind of like the gap between the worlds. So by understanding the radius is a half or the diameter is one, we can now calculate this distance. So this distance here is called um, the altitude. Altitude means the vertical height. It's different from here to there. If we, do, if we draw a line from there, to here, there, that's a diagonal, and they're all in the golden ratio as well. The magic about the Pentagon is that um, every aspect of it is based on the mathematics in the human body. So if this distance is 8, this distance is 13, that's the Fibonacci sequence. Or if this is 1, this is 1.618. So this is really a reflection of every part of the human canon, and also the distances of the planets from the sun. So... Some people want to know, well, what's the distance of the facade of the Pentagon? We know that if this is the diameter of the circle is one, the side's going to be a bit less. And the only way that we can calculate this side or this side here is to go from the center. And if we draw another line from there down to there, so long as we've got a right angle triangle, if that's 90 degrees, we know that that's 0.5. We know that this is 0 0.618 because that's 0 0.618. That's 0.618, that's the same. We can now calculate that distance here. That's why we need Pythagoras' theorem. So I just wanted to show you that by doing a bit of under mathematical formula, we can calculate the universe. We can now calculate that this distance is 0.118 because half of root 5, if we divide root 5 by 2, it's 1.118. That, and that distance... That distance here, 0.118, well, half of root 5, this distance here, from there or there, is 1.118. And you can see here that we take away the 1 from here, and that tells us that this distance here is 0.118. And that whole vertical distance, um, this whole distance of 1.118, we call it harmonic 111. And I wrote that somewhere, harmonic 111. It's written on the board. So harmonic 111 is this whole distance of 0.5 plus the 0.618, the altitude. So in sacred mathematics, we're allowed to slide that little decimal point to make it less or more. We're allowed to move that decimal point. We get 111.8. So what this construction is revealing is all the unities, all the ones. So I like to call this divine design. And the reason why I like to call it divine design is because the word divine, the origin of the word design comes from divina in ancient Italian. In ancient Italian, the divina means of the vine. So of the vine is like the grapevine, how the way that stalks and fruits come off the vine are all in the golden ratio. So, and just to conclude, to show that another way of expressing the golden ratio of phi is to express it all in terms of five. So it's the square root of five plus root five and five minus root five. And that's why the ancient priests, they always had a double cube. And God instructed Aaron in Exodus number 30, God instructed Aaron to build this sacred altar and it was a double cube because it expressed the root five. And also in the ancient Egyptian, we have this uh, double cube here as well. So the double cube, that Osiris, the world transformer, is sitting on is an emblem of these codes of creation. And we can see here also from uh, my colleague, Rich Jarvis, there's more ways of expressing root five in the Pentagon. And also all the powers of phi, if root five's in the middle, these are the areas, and the little triangles are one, we can see that everything's based on what we call the powers of phi. So this was all inspired by my friend Scott Onstott, who showed us that the original height of this pentagon, if the circle is one, the whole distance is 0.5 or a half 
plus 0.618, which is harmonic 111. So I just wanted to let you know that the more you study sacred geometry, you're really studying or investigating the anatomy of who we are.